What's going on everybody? Shop update, here we go. That was practically sold, but the guy stood me up. Uh, no call, no shows. You gotta love him. Especially when you spend like talking weeks about the guy and he asks tons of questions. Hilux here, front bumpers tore off of it because we put a new winch in it. Um, front axle's been completely rebuilt. Obviously the new wheels and tires are on it, or new wheels and new to me tires. Um, whole underside is undercoated. I think you guys have seen the rack we made. It has been finished up and it is done. This is actually the old rack off of Jill's Tundra. It used to sit left to right. We rotated it front to back and made hoops. The little cage going on up there. Oh, what else underdone? Oh, I have rear axle. I think you guys saw last time the locker in it is in it works the front axle when i rebuilt it also have the locker on it that was not a fun job uh anybody who has a ln 106 hilux knows that to put a front e-locker in you have to grind the housing of the third member to get it to fit i'll drop some pictures right here of that So that was not fun at all to get that in there. That took about two hours total just to get that third member put in place. Um, what else? Oh, here's the buggy. So it is up in the air. Front axle is fully welded now. Got my front links fully welded and then painted up. It's just sitting on the ground right here right now. Just waiting, because right now the thing's in hover mode. We've got the rear tires and the rear coilovers off because I needed it full stuff and run a tape line for the drive shaft. So we know it clears. There you go. Um, we've cut the floor out of it. We added this bar yesterday. This is gonna kind of be our floor going under. Uh, we made new mounts for the driver's side. Let me go so the mounts for the driver's side, it's just tacked in place right now on these two, but we can adjust uh, middle position is where I sit and then we can adjust it two forward, two back, obviously um, for taller or shorter people. If someone else decides to drive this thing, um, I think today's project along with the daily work is we're gonna bend up some tube. We're gonna come off this bar we have tacked in place here it's gonna come down as a 90 all the way into the floor. We cut all the floor out except the passenger footwell because um, I actually liked it. So off that, down, around, into there. And then this one, same thing, off this tube, down at 90. The tube will hit there, there, go by the transfer case, and then hook in and then tie into that link mount in the front. And then we'll have to make hoops and stuff like that to brace the whole floor couple little cross pieces and then we can get our aluminum floor put in place. Taking that transfer case out, the secondary transfer case, I believe was a good idea. It's just been a pain because everything had to get cut out obviously. And then we're having to rethink how the floor is going to be. Um, just that transfer case moving forward. It's actually really close to that seat mount now. Didn't have that problem before because the transfer case was pretty much between the seats and now it's in front of them. But that's pretty much my concentration today. Besides, I think Craig's coming over today to get spindle gussets, I believe upper control arms. Not 100% sure there. I know he's getting spindle gussets. So I'll help with that a little bit. Concentrating on this thing, because I would like to have a roller by the end of the week. I think that's not anything crazy. And by roller, I mean, you can sit in it. It won't be running and driving, but someone can sit in it and steer. Well, maybe not steer. We'll see, see what we can do. All right, end of the day today. I think today's Tuesday, same day as I started this video. Um, so we got some work on the Hilux and the racetrack done. So 
here's what we have. Much. We've got a fire extinguisher mounted on the back there. But what is much is obviously it's sitting on the ground and turned around. Because we got the front bumper back on. The Voodoo nine and a half thousand pound winch on. The solenoid box mounted up. It's Velcroed. The whole bottom side of it, we Velcroed it so that way I can take it up if I need to plug it in. I come in from the side right here, plug your winch controller in. Uh, winch seems like it works good. Pulls great. Um, stole this hook off a, I believe it's a Smitty built. We've had it in the drawer for a while. Um, I just like the, the bigger hook than the smaller chrome one that came with it. We did have to rotate the winch because A or B bumper. So, but you can get to the, I'm not gonna unlock it because the winch is pulled, but you can get to the clutch lever really easy there. A little bit of edge trim to protect your hands from the sharp metal. For the race truck over here, it is sitting on the ground because I have been making floor and seat mounts all day long. So we have five position adjustable seat on the driver's side. Passenger side doesn't get that luxury. It's bolted in place. But what we did do today is we got a bar bent all the way. I'll lift it up and show you in a second. But then we also got our seat belt hoops done here. So this little double guy right here I got from Barnes will weld to that hoop over here, just like that. And that holds your lap belt. I'll show you underneath in a second. And then the outside one will just come down and it'll grab the frame, I believe. That is what that dot is. So it'll get welded right to the frame there. What else did we do? Let me lift it up and show you. All right, under here, went ahead and just bolted the factory drive shaft back in place just to act as a guide. Um, obviously it's not long enough, so it's just bungee cord up, but it's in line with pointing at the axle. The axle's at full stuff right now, but this is what we've done today. So like I said, we've got that one bar bent, comes all the way back, skips by the trans or transfer case by about a half an inch, comes up and grabs this crossbar we put in, and then kind of the same thing on the passenger side was a little different. Comes down the same way, but it ties into all the 90 floor that we had for the passenger side. And then we also got these two turns right here made and welded in place, well, tacked in place. So you can kind of see what's going on there. And there's our seatbelt thing. So if you look at that piece of blue tape right there, the belts need to be between 45 and 80 degrees, which 80 is a lot, that's almost 90. So that's the minimum it needs to be. Sorry, it's focusing wrong. Um, so it'll get welded roughly right about there. So it'll get welded there, it'll be good. You can see more of the seat mounts there tacked in place for the driver side, but the passenger side only is single mounted because it doesn't need to move. But we had some really cool stuff come in. So first thing, uh, you kind of saw that it was the harness, PRP. We are a dealer for them, so if you guys need anything PRP, let me know. But they were kind enough to hook me up with the 5.3 cam lock harnesses. They are awesome. Way better than what I would have bought. Thanks again, PRP. If you guys need anything, I will hook you up with PRP. Seats, steering wheels, harnesses, window nets. We're going to use PRP for our limit straps and our harnesses or our window nets. Um, coming up, that's still here. Just got set out in the rain all day, which isn't a big deal for it. Let me go into the storage closet here and show you what else came in right. today. Here in the storage room, all the Radflow, Dobinson, and Toy Tech you could probably ever want. And Amsoil too, we're also an Amsoil dealership. I gotta reach out to them, see if they wanna give me some oil or something for this thing. I'm gonna use it regardless, cause it's really good stuff. But this is what came in. My Baja Designs rear tail light. Super, super thankful for Baja Designs. We are a Baja Design dealer. So they helped us out with the truck tremendously, which is awesome by them. So this is the 30 inch rear tail light. So 
It has turn signals, brake lights, running lights, and the strobe that we need. So that will go on the back of the buggy. That's what it says, Josh buggy. And then in here, they were also kind enough. We have four white rock lights, a amber and a clear, or sorry, a red and a white dome light. So these are like kind of like the rock lights, but they are activated with the push button. So that's pretty cool. Um, they will not be controlled off the split for these will go straight to the battery to fuse. So that way at night you can just reach up, bam, anytime and turn your lights on. For the big lights, you guys kind of already knew we were going to do this because we've been using a mock-up pair, but they sent me some LP4s, driving combo in white. Those are awesome. Asked for white, um, and I'm kind of thinking about putting the amber lenses in these. That's a really cool thing about Bob Designs. So you have to buy new lights. You can just buy the lens from them and swap your lens out yourself. So, well, if you have nitrogen, to be able to put nitrogen back in them. We can here but they sent me those. Those are the big lights up front. You've seen those happening as well as pieces. the S2 Pros and Amber. You've seen those. And then for my running around on the street, we're just using Squadron Sports. I was gonna use the Squadron SAEs, um, but they're more of a fog light, like an auxiliary light not a actual headlight and the sports i got the driving combo pair because i can aim those a little better so thankful for baja designs thank you guys go give guys a follow on instagram and facebook buy stuff from them same thing with prp if you guys need baja designs i will hook you up if you mention that you saw this in the youtube video but i think that's it for the day I feel like I'm forgetting something else that came in. I am forgetting something else. Let's go to the back seat of the Hilux. Those two boxes came in. Let me unbox those again and I'll lay them out and show you what that is. This is what we got. So, we got a new intercooler. This is for a Volkswagen something another. I don't remember exactly, but it was cheap. OEM replacement. In cap, so it's got like obviously factory mounting, but we can work with that. But what I needed was a small intercooler that had ins and out on both sides because it will replace whatever that is. Boom, there it is a little smaller than the one that's replacing, but that's perfectly fine. These turbo diesels don't really need a intercooler but we're just gonna put one anyways. Put the prop into the hood scoop. We're gonna, we're gonna cut the brace out of the hood there to get more airflow into it. And we're probably gonna cut a little bit off the top of the scoop just to make the hole bigger. But what's really nice is that bad boy. It's a CT20. I don't know what that is. It's not a CT20. Um, it's way smaller as you can see, but that is the turbo that's supposed to be on this motor. So that's going to be awesome because this one is doing that. That's not good. So that's what's coming on soon. Um, I've got to get more intercooler piping and stuff in, um, get rid of whatever that is, kind of redo all this. Um, unsure about the factory air box that's been flipped. It's kind of wedged in there really nice. So it works. We'll see about that. But just look at that comparison between those two turbos. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome.